Okay, so the first exercise that we want to show you in this hip imbalance module is an exercise known as a kickback. So uh, we love this exercise because of how easy it is to do for our patients, but also in terms of how much information it provides about the current state of your hip muscles, and also when done correctly, as we're about to show you, how effective it can be in terms of helping you correct some of these uh, hip imbalances, which can help take a tremendous amount of stress and strain off of your lower back, all right? So what Tweed's going to do here is she's going to start by uh, starting on all fours on her hands and her knees. And she's first going to just start by sliding her right foot back and then very slowly lifting up her leg as high as, she hand, as high as she can, but also making sure that her back is staying straight and her hips are staying level like so. And she wants to hold it at the top for about five seconds. So three, two, one, and slowly bring the leg back down. All right. And from there, she's going to uh, perform it a couple more times. All right. Uh, so what she's going to do here is, again, she's going to start by sliding and lifting her leg up. And what we should be focusing on is feeling a very strong contraction in both your glute muscle right here and also a strong contraction in your abdominal muscle uh, right here in the front as well. And bring it back down. And it's important that, again, you try to keep your core muscles tight because this is going to keep your, uh, your back stable and prevent your back from overarching like we've kind of shown you in the first, uh, in the first introduction part of this video. All right. So uh, the next thing I want to do is just show you a couple of very common mistakes that people make when they do this exercise uh, to make sure that you don't make some of these, these common mistakes as well. All right, so the first uh, mistake that will happen uh, when people do this exercise initially is when they uh, lift up their leg is that their lower back is going to have a tendency to want to overarch into this, this position uh, like so. All right, And again, this is a sign that the lower back muscles are just overcompensating for the hip muscles or that the first is just trying to lift their leg too high. So if this is happening too, just make sure that your back is staying you know, completely straight like so and just make sure that your lift isn't going up as high if you start to feel that your back is starting to, to overarch, okay? And now the next mistake that people make just to change of the angle here so that you can see is that when people try to do this exercise is that their hips and their pelvis uh, is going to be off level like so. So as you can see here, her right hip and her pelvis is popping way up to the side here. And what we want to do instead is to make sure that your hips are staying more level like so. And this is going to make sure that you are just trying to retrain the proper stability and the overall uh, balance within your hip muscles so that your hip and your back muscles aren't overcompensating for the weakness of these glute muscles. All right. Okay, so let's just demonstrate it a couple more times properly, um, just so that you have, again, have an awareness of what you need to do. So again, just kicking or sliding, kicking the leg high, make sure you feel a nice strong contraction in your glute, make sure your back is staying as straight as possible, make sure your core is staying tight, and hold at the top for five seconds, three, two, one, and back down. And let's go ahead and show what it looks like on the left leg, all right? So starting with a nice slow slide of the leg back, lifting up the leg as high as you can, while making sure that the hips, again, nice job staying level and that the back is staying nice and st straight and nice and tight. And hold it there. Three, two, one, and slowly bring the leg back down. All right. So we suggest performing this exercise five repetitions uh, on each side and hold the exercise for about five seconds and perform three sets on each leg. And what you'll find is the first couple of times you might do this, it might feel very awkward or weird, or you might not be sure that you're doing it correctly, but that's okay. You know, the more that you practice and the more that you're paying attention to your form over time, your body will start to learn how to um, kind of self-correct some of these imbalances over time, which can eventually bring a tremendous amount of relief to your lower back over time as well. All right. So that is it for the uh, kickback exercise. Now let's move on to the next exercise, which is known as the glute bridge.